Hi guys, welcome back to another Lapland Finland vlog in Rovaniemi. Today I have this electric mountain bike, fat bike, whatever you call it, and I am going around Unasvara. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit confused where I'm going, just trying to figure it out bit by bit. I'm at this map now, so I think I can figure out where to go next. I started over in Rovaniemi down here, I think, came up across this bridge, came along around there, um, and then somewhere around here I crossed over. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, not sure where to go next, but it's fun being on the bike. Not fun trying to figure out where you're supposed to be and potentially getting lost repeatedly. I don't know if this is just a ski trail over here. Um, I don't know where, which ones I can use a fat bike on, which ones I can't. I'll figure it out. longer than a few minutes later. Hey guys, it's later in the day now. I am ready to go out for food and then to an Aurora tour with Nordic Odyssey, the same company who gave me the bikes which I went on today. I didn't get to complete the entire trail on the bikes because like I said, it was hard to find. And then also um, there was loads of new fresh snow on it. So there was no tracks for where the trail should be. So there's signs occasionally, but I had to find my way between the signs and it was easy to get lost. Um, and then also, if you go off the bike next to the, like the track is made of hardened snow even though you can't really see it. And then next to the track it gets kind of deeper, so if I went off the bike like I did a few times and I put my foot in into the deep snow, that's deeper than the height of a bike, so I just get a massive wedgie every, every time and that wasn't that fun to experience multiple times. So in the end, I didn't get to complete it, I just turned around and went back to Rovaniem, even where I came. Um, but it was still fun getting to use the e-bikes and experience that. Yeah, now I'm going to go out to get some food at Burger King or something like that and go to a convenience store called Sale. And then I have the Aurora tour, which, whether or not we see the Aurora, will still be really fun. I'm pretty like confident we will because it's very clear and the weather looks great. Um, yeah, let's go and do that now. I'm starving, so let's get food. Hi guys, it's me again busting in from back home because evidently I record too many clips to make one long vlog of the whole trip, but too few clips to divide them out into daily vlogs. So I'm just gonna chip in here and there, I think, for every vlog in the remainder of the trip, um, just giving updates and saying what's happening in the next few clips. Um, as you've seen, I got the e-bikes from Nordic Odyssey, the link will be down in the description below for you to check out, um, to take out today, well, back then, um, to ride around Rovaniemi. Unfortunately, it was very, very, it was like a lot of fresh snow and very difficult to cycle on a path which I could barely see to go over a hill on the route they'd given me. So I kind of just went around a little bit on the roads and then came back um, to where the hotel, a hostel cafe Cotty was and edited for a few hours. Fast forward to later in the evening, which is now after the clips you've just seen, um, I'm about to go out with Nordic Odyssey again to shoot an entire campaign video of their Aurora um, chasing safari adventure. Also obviously linked down in, just in the description down below. Make sure to check them out. If you're ever in Rovaniemi in Finland, in Lapland, they're the best tour company to go with. And the guides are very informative, very engaging and friendly. And um, whilst not being from the region, they know their stuff and can speak multiple languages. So like, I think German as well, but definitely French and English definitely go with Nordic Odyssey if you're going to be doing any tours such as these in Rovaniemi. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I am going out on an Aurora tour to film a campaign video, not just to experience it. And for that reason, I don't have any vlog clips from this evening. However, I have cinematic clips, obviously, from the campaign video which I was producing. So I'm just going to include a few of the clips which I shot behind the scenes here now. And of course, what I saw of the Aurora you'll see here in a moment, because I did see the Aurora, as you'll see. So yeah, let's roll the clips.
Okay, so yeah, two nights in a row I saw the Aurora, which I was incredibly happy about. After fearing that I wasn't going to end up seeing it on the whole trip, I saw an incredible display on the Wednesday, and then some Northern Lights on the Thursday as well on the Nordic Odyssey tour, which was weird because the forecast showed that on the Thursday it was more likely to have a really good Aurora display, but it was just a little bit, we just saw a faint haze of Aurora, whereas the night before, when it was unlikely to see Northern Lights at all, we had that absolutely incredible display. It was unlikely to see the Northern Lights at all, but like there was a chance of seeing them the night before, but I definitely didn't think it would be like it was on the Wednesday. And I hoped I'd have a repeat of that on the Thursday, which didn't quite happen, but at least I saw the Aurora again on tonight's vlog. Um, very happy to have seen that and experience it in the way I did with sausages around the fire and stuff, which I didn't do the previous night. Obviously, the previous night I was just wandering around and got incredibly lucky to see the Northern Lights in the way I did. Whereas this night was more planned and I got like the whole Lapland wilderness adventure while seeing the Aurora, albeit not as strong as it could have been. Anyway, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the clips of me doing the e-bike or attempting to do the e-bike and then obviously of the Northern Lights tour. Stay tuned for my final two Lapland vlogs. They'll be coming very soon, as soon as possible, as soon as I can get them done. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.